So now I want to show you how we can do a close up detail shot. So let's go to the top view, press F3, and I'm selecting our camera, holding Shift, I'm dragging to create another camera. And I want to make sure it's kind of straight on, and it's going to be a copy, and let's call this one Detail Shot. Then hit OK. You can always right click and select the target or select the camera depending on what you've got selected. Hold Control and select that. And I'm going to do a detailed shot of this bedside area. So I'm going to line it up around here. And I just want to keep in mind that using we're going to use depth of field on this camera. So wherever this target is, is where our image will be in focus. So I want this area to be in focus. So just keep that in mind when you're moving your cameras around. And if I press C with our camera selected, we're going to go to that view. And I also want to make this view portrait. So in the render setup. Let's change this width to 3000 and we'll put the height at 4000 or 5000. Press Shift F to turn on our safe frames. And I actually think 4000 is going to work nicer here. All right, so if I turn on shaded, this camera is far too wide for what we want to do so I'm gonna click on our camera here and select camera and let's change this lens to 70 that's better and I want to zoom out a little bit more but you can see we're going through a wall if I show you in top view what's going on our cameras going through this wall so what we can do is turn on clipping which is under miscellaneous turn on enable and you'll see with near we can pull this in and out and this red line appears and this is what will be clipped just a note that you can hold control to speed up the toggle of this so if I go back to camera and shaded I'll show you without any clipping and as I gradually start adding this, it's clipping away at the wall. So now we can kind of cut through walls, which is a massive advantage of being a virtual photographer. So let's run an interactive and take a look at what we've got on our detail shot. already feels a bit too bright over here so I'm going to bring our exposure up I even think to free and something I've found maybe two something I've found is you're better off rendering a scene underexposed and overexposed if you blow out an image it's quite hard to bring it back Whereas if it is overexposed, you can always make things brighter in post-production. So I'm going to do it as with an exposure of two. And we can see that this is looking quite nice as a detail shot. But what I want to do is add some depth of field. And that's quite easy to do with the physical camera. And just keep an eye on this foreground as this is going to become blurry and this targeted area will be still be in focus. So all I need to do is enable depth of field and it's got use target distance, which is the target of the camera. And you can see here that it's become out of focus and this adds a real nice bit of realism to our image.
So I want to move our camera a little bit before I call that done. I just want to rotate it up a little bit and perhaps up and across. Perhaps even zoom in just a touch. And I'm quite happy with how that image is going to turn out. 